Hey guys, welcome to the Fightish channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. John Fury, the father of the WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, said Anthony Joshua could still get a fight against his son. According to Fury Stewart, to do this, AJ first needs to stop working with his longtime promoter Eddie Hearn. First, Joshua needs to get away from Eddie Hearn. The only reason why the Joshua Fury fight didn't take place is that Hearn is complete fucking shit. He talks with his ass. And you know, I don't even want to mention his name. But AJ needs to get away from him. If you want to do good, then leave him. That's all I can say, Fury Stewart said. Hearn visited Joshua's camp. Eddie Hearn paid a visit to Dallas and Tony Joshua, who under the guardians of new coach Derek James, is preparing for a fight scheduled for April 1st with Jermaine Franklin. Judging by the photo posted on social networks, it can be said that AJ is on the way to return in April in great shape. Robert Garcia After the first week with Joshua, I wanted to go home. After the first week of the preparatory camp, I wanted to go home. I was very upset, admitted Robert Garcia, already a former coach of Anthony Joshua. Their partnership ended after just one match. AJ was mentally broken at the time, Garcia said. I was surprised by Garcia's words that I was defeated mentally and physically, so I decided to make my own decision about a new coach. Joshua later admitted and hired Derek James, who is now preparing him and Tejas for a fight with Jermaine Franklin on April 1st in London. The former coach admitted that, from the very beginning of the operation with AJ, they had certain difficulties. It turned out not bad, but it could have been better for sure. The camp started, and suddenly a lot of people appeared. I was angry, I was upset, and after a week later I told his team that I was not coping. There were people who not only did not help, but even hindered, but I was persuaded to stay, Garcia recalled. After that Joshua switched to James as a coach, and he also moved his training from the United Kingdom to America, to Dallas. Now he is in a good place, in a good gym, with a good coach, and I believe he will return in good shape. One good win can quickly bring back his biggest fights, Garcia added. Former UFC champion and now free agent Francis Ngannou received an offer to fight with American heavyweight veteran Christopher Lovejoy. Lovejoy's side is offering a boxing match in Japan. Recall that Christopher Lovejoy is currently undergoing training in Dubai. Previously training with Floyd Mayweather Stewart and Roger Mayweather, the American won almost all the fights in his career by knockout. The last performance was held in Britain, in the show of the son of his coach, Floyd Mayweather Jr. The former world champion in the second middleweight Britain, Carol Roach, once again criticized his compatriot, the owner of the WBC heavyweight title of Britain, Tyson Fury. According to Froge, Tyson constantly contradicts himself. At one point, he declares that he will fight Anthony Joshua for free, and after a while, he makes a demons. Remember how Tyson was preparing for the fight with AJ? He said he would fight Joshua for free and give the money to charity. And then he said that in his eyes Joshua was as dead as a boxer. It seems that he himself doesn't know where to go and what to do, Froge said. The owner of the status of interim WBO heavyweight champion George Royce spoke about the upcoming fight with the representative of China, Zhang Jili. The year fight is scheduled for April 15 in London, England. I'm sure I will lead in the fight and with all this work that I am doing right now in the gym, I will knock out my opponent and then move on. I think we will have a great fight. He has a good background and he attracts a lot of attention. I can't wait to put on my gloves, step into the ring, drill it with my eyes, and then the gong will sound. And the action will begin. I think it's going to be a tough fight in which we will throw a lot of combinations. But I know that I will come out victorious, Joyce said. Chinese heavyweight Zhang Jili has every chance to create an upset in a duel with the undefeated Briton Joe Joyce, if he manages to deliver an accurate and powerful blow. This is the opinion of promoter Eddie Hearn from Matchroom Boxing. Even though the Jilly is in the twilight of his professional career, he has a powerful punch, Hearn said. 
Anthony Joshua is preparing for a make or break showdown with Jermaine Franklin in Cowboy Country. A new location in Dallas, a new trainer in Derek James, a new approach to hopefully unleash some of the old AJ magic. Even in March, the temperature in Texas can exceed 30 degrees, likely far hotter than London in April 1st, when Joshua returns to the O2 Arena ring. But the challenge of Stan is long overdue. The 33 year old Briton acknowledges he still gets the odd shot of recognition from fired fans as he runs the streets of Oaks Cliff in the Lone Star State. But stepping away from the glare of the United Kingdom boxing, Stan is something many people have been willing AJ to do for some time. Whether it's in Loughborough or the Sheffield, boxing setup where Joshua trained for much of his career, the nagging feeling has been that AJ spent too long in an environment where he was top dog and far too comfortable in his surroundings. By packing his bags and heading to James World Class Boxing Gym, Joshua is working in a serious American pro boxing gym, a place that is already home to one of the top pound for pound boxers in the world in Errol Spence as well as the undisputed light middleweight champion Jermel Charlo, both trained by James. But if he is put off by going from GB Sleek Olympic HQ to a gym that used to be a furniture shop, AJ is hitting it well. You know, what do you need to do as a fighter? Skip, shadow boxing, hit the heavy back, hit the meat and spar. The former world heavyweight champion told a dozen, shrugging off the gym's dimensions. But you need to do it with intention and understanding of what you are trying to do. So a lot of this stuff maybe I was looking for before. James is kind of, let's strip it back, let's get back to basics, which is good. Back to basics, exemplified by the photos of Joshua taking an axe to a tree. One of the new images the fighter has shot of his camp is the right angel. Wesley, James has spoken not of tearing up previous plans and rebuilding Joshua. At 33, it is frankly too late for that, but claimed that small details make a big difference. Pondedly, James, Ring Magazine's trainer of the year in 2017, for his work with Spence and Charlo, has spoken about Joshua being present in the fight and in the moment when trading blows for a boxer who often seems to be overthinking in the ring to be burning energy every situation rather than trusting his instincts. This is sound advice. The famous British boxer Tony Bellew was skeptical about the potential confrontations of Yuri with Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngannou. Yuri will always want to fight Joshua because this fight will give him the biggest fear in his life. Therefore, he will always want this fight. But will there be any new achievements in boxing for Fury? Absolutely not. I've heard that a uh, freak show he wants to put on by fighting Francis Ngannou. It would be a total mismatch. This is some kind of joke. Ngannou is a former UFC champion. It is impossible to imagine that this will happen. Bellew said. Francis Ngannou confirmed that he had been in talks with Joshua and Wilder. Former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou wants to hold the next fight in the boxing ring and said that he was in talks with former world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua and Dante Wilder. My next step has to be boxing, Ngannou said. First I want to have one boxing match and then maybe I will return to MMA because I still like MMA. I want to have a couple of fights in boxing. We're working on something and hopefully in a couple of months I will be able to make an announcement about potential fights," Nagano added. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel.